guys. Here I am in Sacramento, California. Say hello to my new RV. Uh, this deal has been uh, a lot of works in progress. Um, thankfully, I'm happy to uh, re-gift Bertha to someone else. Uh, she knows about it, but she doesn't know what Bertha looks like, so tomorrow morning the last step will be to drop it off and see her all happy. Uh, but yeah, this is my new RV. This is a 1985 Ford Fleetwood Tioga. In many ways, it is exactly identical to the old Tilly I had before, except different. She obviously needs a really good bath, so we'll give her a good bath. Got a nice storage unit up top. Got some windows open right now because it's like 110 degrees here. Here's the back. It does have an awning, but I think it needs a little bit of work uh, to repair. It has an Onan generator that does not currently work right now. But let's go inside and take a look. And as we step inside, you can see the dinette here. I used to have a couch right there in my old one. It still has the swivel chairs right here. Same style table. cab over area right there that slides out for a possible sleeping quarters. It's already got a CB radio, which I really like. Here's the front. It does have hydraulic leveling installed, which I'm really excited about. The kitchen area is going to look really familiar to me. Same stove and oven. Same as set out here in the kitchen with all the drawers and everything. A coffee pot built in right there. Above the stove here is a microwave. Lots of storage throughout. Lots of storage over here as well. The air conditioner does work up top. Looks like it's got a new duotherm cover on it right now. Okay, going over here to this side, you got some more cupboards here. Look at that. Dometic RM761 gas electric two-way fridge. There you go, it's gonna be nice having propane fridge again. Lots of room in there. Here's where things start looking a little different here in the back. There's a bed back here. Instead of a full bathroom, a dedicated bed back here. An old TV shelf, kind of like uh, RV Prepper Wayne's got back there. Some more storage, deep storage back there. Cupboards up there. Big bathroom, shower, toilet, sink. I love it, nice big window right there. Some more storage up there. A vent with a fan in it. And look at this, the controls up here, they actually work and don't have faulty readings. So I mean, yeah, it's really stinking hot. I'm gonna hook up power, turn the AC on because I'm gonna be probably working for the next eight hours here to try to unload everything from Bertha into the RV. So obviously I gotta thank John for you know allowing this trade to happen because it helps a lot of people. A lot of people are benefiting from this transaction that we're working on here and um, it's really stinking exciting to be back in an RV and have the room. Jax is gonna absolutely love it. I've got my GoPro so I'm using my phone right now but I'm giving away the van today. I was up all night. I never did go to bed. I never even tried to go to bed. I never had a chance to go to bed. I had to take off the satellite dish and all the solar and all the wiring. And then inside. 
pretty it's pretty empty inside. Almost just like I got her. In the closet. Got everything out of there. So we're here at John's mom's house and he went in to wake her up so show her the van. You know, again, I don't think I really say this enough, but I really have to thank Kevin, Camper Van Kevin, for hooking me up with this van when I was in serious need of transportation. I can't thank you enough, Kevin. You're an awesome guy. Go check out his channel on YouTube. It's uh, Camper Van Kevin, and hopefully I can pay it forward here, make somebody else happy. Just like my last uh, motorhome, Tilly, it's only got a, a, a belt lap, no shoulder strap, but I may add that here later. I know it's really dirty. We're gonna we're gonna get it cleaned up here. I got the solar panel right here because I don't really know where else to put it right now, but until it goes on the roof, so it feels good to be behind the wheel of a motorhome. Sorry for the wind noise, it's too hot not to have the window down, but I've been driving for about 30 miles now. This rig is perfect. It's amazingly perfect. I'm about 40 miles from Oakland. That's my target area. I was going to go to San Francisco, but I have a sister in Oakland. I'm going to try to boondock somewhere nearby her house. I clean the windshield when I pumped gas, too. So. Jaguar emblem for the front of this Tioga. I'm gonna look on Amazon, eBay. I think he's okay with the new motor. Parked here in Oakland, boondocking. It's 108 degrees over in Sacramento where I just left, and 72 here in Oakland. What a difference, right? It makes all the difference. So this is where I'm at, a little uh, kind of extended parking, you know, a little like excess parking. All the road meters out there cost money to park, and nowhere here does it say tollway zone. No parking, so. This is where I'm gonna boondock tonight and go see my sister here in a little bit. Doesn't the RV look good? I mean, she has not even washed. She is filthy, but uh, she looks good. She looks real good. <laughs> 